guys. Nick from Thin Blue Diggers. Yep, me and Ed, us crazy two guys are out here in this white stuff today. Uh, we're at a location of an old picnic grove. Uh, goes back to the 1800s all the way up to the 1930s. So uh, we're gonna go out here and have some fun and try to save some history and see what we can find in the ground here. So uh, we'll be back on the next find. Well guys, I just popped this out. I, it looks like an old, maybe earring or type of brooch. It's got a pin on the bottom here. Looks like it would connect. I gotta get in the picture here. But I'll clean it up here after a bit, but it's definitely ornate. So, but we're down here in the woods where the picnic grove used to be. Ed's over there. So, see what else we can find. Makes you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, me and Ed been walking this whole woods, haven't dug nothing. We both came up and rang this signal, and he popped it, and it looks to be an Indian. I can see the wreath and the one cent. So we're gonna clean this up and see if we can get a date off of it. Oh, guys, there it is. The back, the front is chunky, but there it is. First coin of the day. Ed's on the board. Nice old Indian head penny. We might get a date off of it later, but it's definitely uh, been in the ground for a while. So keep on digging. Oh, well, guys, I'm working up through these briars. And I just popped something around down here. Looks to be a coin. And it's an Indian. All right. Look at that. One wiper. 1899. Sitting right there. And see where the impression was. Awesome. So I got an IHP on the day. Awesome. 1899. All right, guys, I'm working my way through this, these rose bushes, and I just popped another coin down here. Looks like a coin. Yep, it's another coin. And it's another Indian. Another Indian head penny. Uh, can't make quite make the date all out on it yet. Get a little pants rub here. Bring that green out. But I can't see the date right now. But it's an Indian. So let me toothpick it. And see if I can't get a date. Oh, guys. I got cleaned up. It's uh, 1897. So second Indian head for the day. See the foundation down there by the spring, too. So pretty neat. And uh, I'm up on Ed, two to one. <laughs> Better get going, buddy. Another IHP saved. Oh, well, guys, I'm just working around here in these rose bushes. And uh, the, one of my Indians came out there. The other one was over there. And I just popped this up from down there underneath that root. Popped up right here. And we got another Indian. So, third Indian so far. Pretty awesome. I think that's a record for me for most Indians. But the front is pretty wiped on this one. But I'll see if I can get it cleaned up. If I can get a date on it, I'll come back. All right, guys. As you see, I'm still working myself through the brush. And I came across this groundhog hole. And I'm like... You know what? I've seen videos where guys have found stuff and where the groundhog would push stuff up out of the ground. And I had a 83, 84 signal and uh, I just found it. And it's a little silver. I'm waiting for Ed to get over here so we can see what it is together. Can you get in here? <laughs> It's thick, that's for sure. See it laying right there? Yeah. It's almost a half It says one dime on the back. Good. I think it's a barber. I think it's a barber. 
but I'm gonna have you spray it for me. Spray the back side first, just one dime. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Any mint mark? No mint mark. Flip it over. We got a barber dime. Yes, sir. 1908. Barber dime laying right, right in there, right beside that groundhog hole. So, guys, if you're hunting in the woods, check them groundhog holes because they got silver in them. All right, guys. So, just right back there, I dug two Indians in one hole. I didn't videotape it. Came back over here, got another 60 signal, and looked there in the dirt clump. Got ourselves another Indian. Yep, I can see the headdress coming through there. Another one cent. It's getting muddy out here, so I'll get these cleaned up later and we'll show them in the wrap up. But that's number six for me today. So it's a little hot spot up here in these briars. I don't know why, but there's a lot of them in here. Oh, guys, it's right down in there. I just popped out a buckle. Had a little iron pin, a little brass buckle. So, first kind of relic of the day. So, keep on looking. Oh, I just met back up with Ed, and he brought me this. It's this little religious pendant. I think it's silver. You can see where the pin, pin back was on it. But, that's pretty neat. Pretty neat find there. All right, guys, let's do a little wrap up. I'm back at home now. Um, I want to congratulate Ed on his finds. Um, I'll put a picture of those in here at the end of the video. But um, a couple things I didn't get on tape. I did find this old uh, pickaxe head. And I did find a pork chop, oxen shoe. And uh, I did find a dog tag. It's from 1988, but it says where we were at on the bottom. But, and did find that iron buckle found six Indians. I'm gonna get those cleaned up and uh, I'll put a picture in at the end. And to get that beautiful barber dime, 1906. So let me flip you guys around here and uh, finish this wrap up. So guys, uh, me and Head had a good time today. It was uh, a lot of rough digging, going through rose bushes and everything else, but did find some good stuff. So. Uh, Thanks for watching, everybody. Support your local law enforcement, fire, and EMT. And God bless everybody.